man. If I do any more of these talking head videos, I need some sort of coffee table. I can't have the coffee way, way behind me like this. You know, I need easy access. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Pretty excited to be talking to you today about Dragon Tail's number one selling Tenkara Rod, the Shadowfire 365. I have been using this Tenkara Rod for almost four months. I've had it on two backpacking trips. I've strapped it to my day pack and hiked with it uh, into some streams and ponds uh, two separate times. And in addition to that, I've just been down to my local river, uh, the Provo River here in Utah, about 10 times with it. I'm finally at a point where I've used this enough that I'm comfortable talking about it and I'm excited to do so. Before we get started, I'm going to put the specs of this rod on the screen. So now that you've had just a quick second here to look over some of those specs, let's talk about this. If you've been following my channel, or even if you're brand new to my channel, you're going to see pretty quickly that I love backpacking and I love fishing. I guess more than anything, I, I like mixing the two together. Over the years, I've put quite an investment into my backpacking setup. You know, just trying to get down to those lightweight, even at times those ultra lightweight numbers uh, that allow me to get into the backcountry a little easier. It's not so hard on my body. Um, but what I've never had is uh, a fishing setup that's lightweight. So what this ten car rod, you know, for me has done is it's almost combined ultralight backpacking with ultralight fishing, and it is a pretty slick setup. What's really cool about it is, um, you know, first of all, you get this really nice low profile tube. Uh, you can stick this inside the pack, outside the pack, and it's protected. You can walk as far as you want to through the backcountry, bushwhacking, and know that when you get to where you want to be, you're going to have a functional rod. In addition to the tube, uh, the Shadowfire 365 comes with this really cool uh, rod sock. And now once we got it all exposed, this is the rod in its fully collapsed state. It is so small and lightweight. Fully extended, this goes out to 12 feet, and collapsed like it is now, it is just a little over 23 inches. What I really like about this thing is it comes with two different style of end caps. This one's more of a universal cap that'll work on a lot of different things, and uh, it, you know, and it just keeps the tip, which is really sensitive. You, it's really easy to break. Uh, you know, it kind of keeps that protected. Um, and then it also has another cork style cap uh, that comes with the setup when you purchase it. I like the universal one, uh, but the other one is nice. Uh, you know, it's just nice to have a backup because that's kind of, uh, you know, if you break this thing, it's probably going to be your own fault and it's going to be the tip. So keeping these caps with you when you're backpacking, hiking, fishing, uh, for when you've got a collapse and you're walking with it, you know, is just a good way to ensure that you're going to have a fishable rod when you get to where you want to fish. Something that I've noticed out on the water with this thing that's made a difference and helped me catch more fish is the finish. It is not a high gloss finish. It doesn't reflect light. It's a matte black. Uh, so, you know, I'm able to stand right in the light on the shore, you know, and cast this thing. And I'm not getting, you know, any reflections coming off the rod into the water scaring the fish. I may still scare the fish, but that's me, not the rod. And that's something that I've noticed and it's made a difference. So I really like that. It is a telescoping rod. It breaks down into eight pieces. One of the features that I really like about this is there's a cap on the handle side of the rod. And you can actually take all eight pieces out. There's two things that that does that, you know, I, I think is pretty cool. First of all, if you have ever used a telescoping type rod, you know that over time and the conditions that you're fishing in it in, Dirt and just all the elements from outside can collect on the rod. And as you collapse it, extend it, you know, over time, that can wear out the material and compromise the rod. Uh, so where it comes apart, you can actually take this thing apart and take it out of the sink and just wash it down with a little bit of soap and water, put it right back together. You can do that in the matter of minutes. It's real quick. And the second thing being able to break this thing down and take it apart does for us is it makes the parts serviceable and purchasable separately. So if I break any section of this, it doesn't matter if it's the handle or the tip, I can jump on Dragon Tail's website and order a replacement part for significantly less than the rod itself. 
you know, not only does that save me a lot of money, it gives me the ability to just get back on the water that much quicker. So that's something that I find really cool. There's so many things that I just love about this thing. There's little line winders that you can get separately through Dragontail's website. And you can put your line on these things and it just attaches right to the rod. That way you have quick, easy access to a line that you can tie on and get back on the water quickly. Um, you know, which I guess leads us into the next topic, which is one of the things I love about this thing is it's just fast and efficient. And before moving on from the rod, I want to talk about the action. The Shadowfire 365 is a soft action rod. And if you've never fished a soft action rod, it is so much fun. Um, you know, I remember when this thing came in the mail and I opened it up right out here, you know, on my table out in the living room. That was one of the things that I was a little concerned about. I was like, wow, you know, that's got a lot of action. And I was worried about there being oscillation as you're casting this which can affect, you know, performance and accuracy on the water. And I was actually really surprised when I got it out there the next day that it didn't do that. There's no oscillation here when you're casting. They are very accurate. I've caught, uh, the smallest fish that I've pulled out of the water with this is about three inches. The biggest is about 18 inches. Uh, the fun part, you know, with the action is even the three inch fish felt big. And you start getting into the, you know, the 16, 17, 18 inch fish, they feel like sharks. They are so much fun to catch. Um, I really can't say enough good about the rod itself. I think we've covered most things about the rod. Um, so we're going to move on and just talk about a couple of the other things that are unique to, uh, you know, not just Dragon Tail, not the Shadowfire 365, but just Tenkara in general. As many of you have commented uh, as I've used this in my videos, it is realist. There is no real. Uh, you either with Tenkara, you know, land the fish and go straight to the net, or you can do a, a hand retrieve, which, you know, if you've never done it before, it does sound kind of weird. It's actually a lot more natural than you would, you, you would think. It's not, it's not weird at all. The preferred line that I use, which is on my line winder here, because it's the one I want ready to go, is Gushi Furled Line. Um, the furled line, again, I'd never used it before Tenkara, and I am a huge fan of it. I love this thing. You know, it was really weird to me looking at it. I was like, oh, that's weird. Uh, if you don't know anything about furled line, it's kind of a multi-fibrous line that uh, almost looks like string. It can be made out of a lot of different materials. Uh, this one in particular is a tapered line, and it is a weight-forward line. One of the reasons I like the furled line so much is I'm always fishing up at elevation, up at the, you know, the alpine lakes, streams, ponds, or down in the canyon, and there's always a lot of wind. It's rare to not have wind, sometimes very, very high wind. I don't lose my accuracy with the furled line in the wind. Um, in addition to that, I love the way that it lays down in the water. I've had this particular line for nearly four months now. Um, you know, it's had a lot of use, and there's no signs of wear, tear. I've never had a knot in it, nothing like that. I've also used this high viz orange level line that I also got through Dragon Tail. Uh, I've really enjoyed this. I do prefer the furled line, but the level line is, uh, it, it surprised me also. What I've done with that, and this comes with me on all my trips that I take my Tenkara rod with, and these are accessories that I also get through Dragon Tail. They're just little line holders, and I have three of them. I've cut various lengths of fixed line and attached them to each one of these, so I'm kind of ready for all conditions. I take a 10 foot, a 15 foot, and a 20 foot uh, fixed line. I did go down to the river yesterday and try it with the 20 foot line attached to it because it's something I hadn't done yet. And that was something that I really wanted to do before even talking about the rod because, you know, with a 20 foot fixed line attached to the 10 car rod, which is 12 feet, you know, that, that pretty much gives me 30 feet of working water to work with. That's a lot of water. You know, you're never going to get out to the middle of the lake with one of these things. But, you know, as I reflect back on my fishing, you know, I, and look at that from a numbers perspective, I've probably caught a lot more fish within 30 feet of the shore than I have in the middle of the lake. So I really wanted to actually try it with a 20-foot line before talking about it. I have heard people going up to 25 feet. I don't think the Shadowfire 365 can handle 25 feet. 20 foot was, uh, I was able to get a nice level cast out, but uh, you know, again, I don't think it can handle much more than that. 
It's just too soft of an action, but it does handle the 20 feet. I did film a little bit of me casting with the 20 foot line just to show you that it can be done. And before moving on from the, the lines that I've used with this thing, uh, you know, and the, I guess going back to what I said earlier about the, the, the speed and efficiency, you know, these shorter lines, you know, unlike traditional fly fishing where you back cast, you know, who knows how far behind you, uh, you don't do that with this. Um, you know, with these short fixed lines, we don't have to worry about that back cast. I can cast in so many different places around the lake because I'm not worried about getting tangled in the trees behind me. In fact, I've, I've never hung up behind me with this thing. I've never hung up. I've never tangled a line. I've never lost a fly in a tree. And, and, and all that does is allows me to be on the water longer and fish more. Maybe I said this already, but the, the 12 foot, five inch furled line that I, that I love, that's my, my, my primary line, I've been using that for four months. These have also been on here for four months. I've never broke them, tangled them, got a knot, nothing. Um, with my fly rod, I'm always putting new leader on, building new leader, losing flies, twisting off, breaking off, a lot of different things. You know, the simplicity of, of, of Tenkara has just amazed me. You know, it, it was a little weird at first, but now that I've been doing it and I've got some experience, I love it. It is addicting. And, uh, you know, you're going to see this on a lot of trips. The primary tippet that I've been using with my Shadowfire, I also got through Dragon Tail, but it's from Moonlit. This is a 4X, and it's been really, really great. Um, I haven't broke it off yet, which is something that I appreciate. One of the last things, um, you know, from a backpacker's perspective is the packability. I mean, just compare the two. It may not reflect well on that video, but this is significantly bulkier, significantly he heavier than this. You know, you can kind of do the same thing with the spin reel. I mean, though this does also break down, it is so much easier to store this and walk with this than it is this. From an affordability perspective, um, you know, again, Tenkara is a lot more affordable than some of the other options I have here behind me. If you're brand new to fishing, brand new to backpacking, brand new to doing them both together, you should definitely look into, uh, you know, a Tenkara rod. I highly recommend the Shadowfire. So in closing, you know, I just can't say enough about the Dragon Tail Shadowfire 365. It's performed exceptionally well for me, and it's a piece of kit that's going to be coming with me quite a bit and that I'm excited to use. If you're a longtime backpacker and also really like fishing, but have you know been hesitant to bring all the fishing stuff because it is bulky and heavy, uh, you know you should look into something like this. It's a good way to get on the water anywhere that you backpack and not really have, you know, again all the bulk and the size and the weight. And I'm going to put a link to Dragon Tail's website in the description below, and I'm also going to put a link to their YouTube channel. The YouTube channel doesn't have a whole bunch of content, but it does have some tutorial type stuff that can show you how to do the basic setup. And for me, what I've enjoyed from the YouTube channel is the fly tying tutorials. The flies are super simple and super effective and, um, you know, they're, they're pretty fun to tie. <laughs> I know I haven't covered everything or talked about everything. I got a little excited when I was talking about it and forgot what I was going to say. If you have questions, just comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you all for tuning in and definitely check out Dragon Tail. Wait, there's more. Uh, be sure and stay tuned for just a quick minute. I've actually got about an hour that I can sneak away from my house. I'm going to cruise right down to the river that's about 20 minutes away from me and see if we can't hook into a fish or two using this thing. So, uh, yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you on the next trip. All right, guys, uh, made it down to the river. I don't have much time, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Uh, I'm not at the prettiest part of the river, but it's all I have time for. And it really, I just wanna show you how quick, simple, and efficient these things are. So hopefully we can get into a couple fish and we're gonna get started. Got one. Nice. You can see how simple it was just to go straight to net right there. Just like that, guys. Beautiful fish, took about six casts. Mm. 
I can't see back there, but there's got to be something. Casting blind. Got it. <laughs> that feels like a good fish. It's got some fight to it. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if you could see that, but that was 100% blind cast. Nice fish. This one I'm gonna have to hand retrieve. It's just got too much fight. But we'll get it right in the net. Boom. Look at that beautiful fish. That was awesome. Beautiful fish, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun.